Hi guys, this is very serious. When Kwasi Kwarteng rolled out his mini-budget last week, he explicitly said that the OBR forecast would not be issued as there wasn't enough time. This was a lie. And this can be backed up with evidence. Now, the leader of the SNP in the House of Commons, Ian Blackford, made a request to the OBR to get their side of the story. Well, they wrote back and it was pretty damning for the Chancellor. Here Blackford spoke to Andrew Marr of LBC and explained what happened. Um, now, I'm the journalist here and you're the politician, but I gather you have a little scoop for us. Yes, indeed. I wrote uh, together with my Treasury colleague to the Office of Budget Responsibility a, a few days ago. And this afternoon we've had a response which they have put on their website. If, if I may, I'll just read uh, a few lines, Andrew. We sent a draft economic and fiscal forecast to the new Chancellor on the 6th of September, his, his first day in office. We offered at the time to update that forecast, to take account of subsequent data and to reflect the economic and fiscal impact of any policies the government announced in time to be published alongside the fiscal event planned for later in the month. In the event... That was the mini budget, oh, yes. That's right. In the event, we were not commissioned to produce an updated forecast alongside the Chancellor's growth plan on the 23rd of September, although we would have been in a position to do so to a standard that satisfied the legal requirements of the Charter of Budget Responsibility enacted by Parliament. So to put it briefly, we could have done it, we wanted to do it, we weren't asked to do it, and we're pretty cross about it. Fair yes. enough? I think there's a fair assumption, Andrew. I uh, would absolutely concur with that. And I think in the light of everything that has happened, that's pretty damning of a government that has not done what mm. it should have done and asked the OBR to provide a forecast last week. That, that and why didn't they do it? Because the OBR would have said this would be a disaster for the economy. And instead of actually releasing that, at least you know, providing this information to the markets, the, the Chancellor did the opposite. He ran with his mini-budget anyway, ignoring the OBR. Now, it's important to remember that the OBR provides forecasts for the Chancellor when they're, right, when they're pre creating their budget. This has happened since, I don't know, since the beginning of the OBR's operations, I believe. So he's been doing it constantly. It's not a requirement, but it is uh, good practice. And instead, the Tories have decided we're going to ignore that. Well, Liz Truss and Cosi Quarteng were going to ignore that. And this is the consequence. The markets were spooked. The pound dropped in value. And then the Bank of England had to jump in and do some firefighting, spend £65 million to protect pensions from completely being destroyed, being completely wiped out. And then you have Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng doing the rounds, saying, yeah, everything's fine, nothing to worry about, and it's nothing to do with our action, it's to do with global issues, the war in Ukraine or whatever. Charlatans. And they should resign over this. They should resign for lying, and they should resign for this crisis. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.